Hello, everyone. This is Independent Conservative. I am Ryan Bowling. Thank you all for joining me. Well, we got to deal with the sickness again. And what I'm talking about is, is a Netflix uh, animated series called Coco Melon. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard it from other YouTube content creators. Uh, uh, and, and, and this show aimed towards kids is getting some serious criticism. Because evidently they in a particular scene in the in, in the in the show, they show this uh father, uh these these two men, one black and one right, white, right? You know, yeah, you know, you gotta have it that way, right? Clearly they're gay. And they're telling their child, their son, that he could be whatever he wants to be, you know, if if he's not he can be whatever he wants to be, dressed wherever he wants to just I'm not gonna give the details of that. I'm gonna go into the, get into the article. I did see that scene. It is sick. It is disgusting. But that's what's going on in our country. People try to deny and act like it doesn't exist. It exists. They're coming after these kids, man. But the question is, why? Why is this there such a push to promote this kind of sexual deviancy upon children, little kids, babies, if you will? Why? I'm going to give you my opinion on that after I finish reading this. Yeah. Netflix is, is, is nasty, man. Netflix is nasty. <laughs> you know, they, they've, they've, they've gone off the deep end. Um, but it's no surprise. It's no surprise for uh, a, 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 a um, channel like Netflix to be getting into this woke agenda, okay? Uh, but anyway, the article says, Netflix is facing backlash for a scene in the latest episode of its children's show, Coco Melon. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. If not, I don't care because this is sick. Coco Melon Lane showing a cross-dressing boy dancing in a tutu critics called Jess Evil. Uh, yeah. Coco Melon Lane is one of Netflix's most popular children's show, shows and is a top series in the U.S., U.K., Philippines, Canada, and South Af Africa, according to Fox News. You know, what's interesting about this, I never heard about this show. I never heard about it. I never, this is the first time I've heard about this. Never heard about it. But I don't, I don't watch these modern shows. Anymore. I'm going to get into the detail of that a little later. The original production is aimed at preschool children, of course. In episode eight of season one, titled Nina's Three-Legged Race slash Say Cheese Nico slash Nina Shares a Treat. What the heck? which was released in November, a boy named Nico debates what to wear for his family photo. Mm -mm -mm. As Breitbart News reported, both of the dads in the, scene, in the scene sing, and I saw this, okay? I saw this for myself. It's actually in the article itself, okay? If you, if you go to the description box below and log on to www.breitbartnews.com and look for the title of this article, the video will be the scene will be right in the uh, article. You can see it for yourself. It says something that we know about you. You love to get up and dance. Then Nico changed into a tutu and crown and began to dance. One of the dads sang to Nico, "If you're not sure what to choose, think about think about all the things you like to do. Just be you." Nico then asks, "Just be me." And the dad, the dead, re the dead, <laughs> yeah, they are dead. And the dad replied, yep. Nico does go on to try on other outfits late in the scene. Once the scene was made, a public torrent of criticism flooded social media with some calling for a Netflix boycott. That was supposed to be done before with the, with the uh, show, um, what is it, Cuties? There was a big hoopla about that, but that's still on. From what I understand, it's still on. I have Netflix, <laughs> okay? And I see the poster of that of that show still on there. They ain't take it down. Or, the, you know, the post, whatever you want to call it. Okay, here's one person's criticism. It says, Sarah Phil, she says, I got into a debate the other day when I said that all of the kids' TV shows and movies are being destroyed with a woke agenda. Nothing is wholesome anymore. Not even Coco Melon is off the table. I'm so fed up. And that's so true. You ought to be fed up. It's sick and disgusting. You know, um, 
Another by the name of Jenny says, I'd like to know why Netflix UK and Coco Melon have decided to push cross-dressing ideas onto toddlers. A gay couple having a child isn't a big deal to anyone, but how dare you try to influence our children, ours, not yours, with this mental illness insanity. And James Bay says, if you are still paying for Netflix, you are the reason why kids are mutilating their bodies. Uh, yeah, that's pretty strong right there. <laughs> I guess you could say I'm to blame for that, right? But I don't watch uh, any of the, hardly of any of the Netflix shows or movies. The only movies that I watch on Netflix are the older ones. And maybe some the new ones like, like Black Mirror or Dark Mirror, Black Mirror, I think it was a TV series, a sci-fi TV series. Uh, uh, and I watch that. that uh, that's great. If you ever watched that, I highly recommend it. It's not woke, and I highly recommend it. At least most of the episodes are not. Um, yeah, but anyway, Coco Melon was created by California J. Gion, J. Gion, and Californian J. Gion in 2005 as Breitbart's Warner Todd Huston, Houston notes. Um, and I didn't, you know, like I said, I didn't know anything about this TV show. 2005, so this is pretty old. Gion is a father who wanted to use music to teach his own children. After first uploading his handmade episodes to YouTube, he soon began earning billions with a B, billions of views. Eventually, the brand was acquired by Moonbug Entertainment in 2020. That's who screwed it up. This newest series, Coco Melon Lane, launched this year on Netflix. That's the end of that article right there. Yeah, mm-hmm. This should be nothing new. To sane people. This should be nothing new. What you, I'm not going to even say sane people. I'm going to say this shouldn't be anything new to anyone in America who's been keeping up with what is going on here. With this agenda that's being pushed upon our children. This shouldn't be new. But inevitably, you got to ask the question. Why is there such a push uh, of sexual deviancy upon young kids. And when I say young kids, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about preteens now. Why are they pushing it? Why would a, a, a show like Coco, Coco Lane, Coco Melon Lane or whatever, why would they push this idea of cross-dressing on, uh, on, on, with, with the character in the show? Why would they push that on them? Why would they promote that towards kids, pre-adolescents? Why would they do that? No one can argue that they're just trying to educate children. Man, come on. That's not even worth arguing. Something nefarious is going on here, and Americans need to stand up and stop supporting these people. Are we on the mind control or what? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Uh, why? Why are they pushing this on the kids? And I'll give you my opinion. I think one of the reasons for that... This push of sexual demency upon children is to confuse them sexually. If you can confuse them sexually, it's easier to victimize, victimize them in the future. What well, I believe, in my opinion, that a lot of people, a lot of these TV shows and a lot of these producers and so forth, I think these people are potential pedos. That's what I think they are. And they're, I think that, yeah, I, and that's a bold statement, but you, you can't be anyone of, you can't, I wouldn't trust my children to be around someone like that that pushes that kind of stuff on pre-adolescence and kids, period. I couldn't trust, hey, there's no way, Jose, on God's green earth, that I would trust any of my children to be around somebody like that. That person is debased. They have no morals. And I honestly believe, in my opinion, that a lot of these writers and executive producers of these TV shows are are hidden pedos, okay? Can't say the whole thing because this, this video might get banned. I believe they're hidden pedos, and they just they're just so hungry. To, 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 they're just so how can I put it? I don't know how to put it. You know, I really don't. I'm trying to be PG rated here, but they're so debased in their mind that they can't. You know, they can't wait. Up. We we got to do. We got to. Corrupt these children, confuse them about their sexuality on a, in an underhanded way, okay, through the cartoons and through the TV shows. So later on, we can get our hands on them, confuse them sexually. That's one. That's what. That's one rate. A uh, one reason. The other reason I believe is population control. 
If you confuse the children sexually at a young age, then they won't know whether they're male or female. Now, if they're biological males, but they think they're females, nine times out of ten, they're not going to want to be with another female or marry another female or have intercourse with another female. And if that's the case, then guess what? You can't produce. Can't produce children. Thus keeping the population uh, at a certain level. Population control. You confuse them sexually so they don't know who they are. Whether they male or female. I, am I male? Am I female? I don't know. It must be something right about this kind of deviancy being pushed on, on me or being promoted in the cartoons and so forth. This, see, these are young, impressionable minds. That's why I don't debate with people who support this kind of agenda. Why would I debate with any adult who supports cross-dressing with pre-adolescents or kids, period? you promoting it. You're pushing it. You're encouraging it. There's a place for that person in hell. Period. Bottom line. I did, that makes my stomach boil. And I don't hate anybody. As a man of God, I don't hate anybody. The Bible tells me not to hate anybody. But it's someone like that, I just it, it takes everything within me. Everything within me not to want to hate that person. You a nasty, vile person. Okay? Whether you a writer who writes these screenplays, whether you're a producer who hires the actors and whatever to do this nonsense to push this agenda, you know what you're doing. Deceive or not, you know what you're doing. You're sick and you need help. And so that's why I believe they're pushing this kind of crap on our children. And like I said, I never knew anything about this Coco Melon Lane. I never, I never knew anything about Coco Melon. I, this is the first time I've heard about it. It's the first time it came on my radar. Okay? And then you have to wonder, why would Netflix do this? Why do these, these shows continue to do this? When you know you're going to get backlash, when you know people are going to protest against you, when you know it's going to affect you financially. And I don't understand why Netflix is still around. Somebody just argue, well, you still got Netflix. You know, well, I'm going to get rid of Netflix. How about that? And like I said earlier, I, I, only reason why I have Netflix is for the TV sh the, the shows that I like to watch. Black Mirror. I like Black. I love Black Mirror. And the older movies that they show. That's it. This new stuff they got, a lot of this newer stuff, they, I don't want to have nothing to do with it. And that's why I still have them, okay? I don't promote or push any of that nonsense. But it looks like I might have to get rid of them. I guess just enough people are not uh, uh, getting rid of their subscriptions. I guess I don't know a protest or not. I, I don't know. Because these people shouldn't be on TV. I guarantee you if it was something from the right, if it was something conservative that combated that kind of mentality, that show wouldn't even be on. They'd take it off in a heartbeat. But something like this, it just goes on and on and on and on. And it's, to an extent, that can be discouraging to a lot of people. It's like, why does evil and, de and, and, and debauchery prevail? And then what's crazy about it, people embrace this kind of stuff. You know we messed up when you have other adult parents embracing this kind of nonsense, this sick, debased nonsense. But I'm thankful to God that I know what I know. That part of the reason why this sickness is going on is because it's spiritual. There's a satanic, demonic agenda going on. That's what I believe. That's the part you don't see. That's the realm you don't see. Okay, There's more to it than what you see. There's an invisible realm that manipulates the, the physical realm. There's something working behind the scenes and there's a global agenda in reference to it. But having said all of that, yeah, this, yeah, this is disgusting. This is sick and disgusting. But once again, it's not surprising. These people want to confuse, in my opinion, confuse the sexuality of our children because these are future. Uh, uh, they want to confuse them in the future. So it's easy to mess with them in the future. OK, I think some of these people are actual pedos. In positions of authority. And they're just trying to confuse all these innocent minded children about their sexuality. So it's easier to mess with them when they get when they get old, when, when they come to a certain age. That's why I was, I, you know, I, let me say this. I'm sorry. ending this video. One of the members of my church years ago. Um, um, 
it was a member of my church and she had a daughter and they had, you know they decided to leave and go somewhere else they, i think they moved to another state or whatever and i don't forget, I forget what state they moved in but anyway about a few months ago they came back to visit us and they stated the mother stated that her daughter is now trying to sing and she's trying to get into hollywood and singing all this kind of stuff and you know we was kind of happy about that but me knowing what I know about Hollywood, I was I wanted to say, watch your back. Hollywood is full of sickos. Watch your back. And I kind of was kind of, no, Hollywood is nasty. They're nasty. Stay away from them. They're nasty. Okay? Stay away from them. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to bring that out because this is sick and disgusting, but uh, I'm not surprised. The ultra left, ultra woke. It's going on and out being depraved and nasty like they always are. But what do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless you all. See you again.